In this video, let's do an exercise on n-step transition probabilities. So in this problem, each American family is classified as living in an urban, rural, or suburban location. And then these sentences show how the families move from one location to the other location within a year. Now question A asks you if a family now lives in an urban location, what is the probability that it will live in an urban area two years from now? What is the probability they will live in a suburban and rural area and two years from now? Uh, point B says that if at present 40% of all families, so given this distribution of family at this moment, it asks you two years from now, what is that distribution? What percentage of American families will live specifically in an urban area? And point C says that what problem might occur if you really use this model in the real world to predict the future population distribution? Okay, I will give you the pause on the video as usual to give you the time to really read uh, and understand all the information in this problem. Okay, so based on the problem, these are the things that we can do. First, we create the transition probability from those sentences. And then from point A, it asks you about the probability in two years. It means that we need to compute P square, the transition probability uh, in two years, two steps from now. And then um, in a point B, it shows the distribution at this moment. So the distribution is uh, means that we need to create the vector Q. And then it asks you two years from now, what is the distribution look like? Means that we have already got P square from point A, we have Q, we can compute Q times P square to answer this uh, question about the distribution two years from now. So first, let's create the P transition probability matrix. So from the problem, you see that during a given year, 15 of all urban families, 15% will move to suburban location. So from urban to suburban, this should be 15%. And then 5% move from urban to rural location. So this should be 5 Okay, so 15% to suburban, 5% to rural, and then although the problem doesn't say anything about families who are in urban area and they stay in urban area next year, you should know that because the sum of a row must equal 1, you should know that urban to urban is 0.8 in this problem. And then about the suburban families, 6% of them move to urban and 4% move to rural location. So 6% from suburban move to an urban location. So this is 6% and then 4% move to rural area. And then this is the remaining. So 6% move to urban, 4% move to rural and 90% stay. And then about rural families, four of them sorry, 4% of them move to urban area, and then 6% of them move to suburban. 90% stays in rural area. So this is your P or transition probability. Now, to answer this uh, question, two years from now, you compute P square. Basically, you just compute P times P and use the matrix multiplication rule to do this multiplication. You obtain this P square area, sorry, P square matrix. Now you know that the person that now lives in an urban area have the probability of 65%, 65.1% to stay in the urban area, and then a 0.91 will move to rural area and then 25.8% move to suburban two years from now. For point B, based on the information in the problem, 
we can create the vector Q that looks like this, point 0.4, point 0.35, and point 0.25. The first one um, shows the percentage of families that is currently living in the urban area, 35% currently living in a rural area, and 25% currently living in a suburban area. Two years from now, what is this distribution look like? So we already have P squared from the answer for point A. We may compute Q times P squared. So Q times P squared, this is the matrix. And then um, this is the result. So two years from now, 31.5% of all American families will live in an urban area. So that's the end of this of this video. See you in the next one. Thank you.